everyone, today we are going to be making Feeny's favorite all-time, all-time favorite treat. And that is liver brownies. Now, you can make them with chicken or with beef, whatever you have on hand. But this is a great recipe for these times. So right now, the U.S. is in COVID-19 lockdown, quarantine. And shipments are delayed, our regular Chewy subscriptions delayed, so it's hard to get treats. And he's got a sensitive stomach, so I can't just give him anything. So I thought, wait a second, I'll just make his favorite treats and I'll bring you guys along. So the only thing that can be slightly hard right now to find in stores are eggs, but I've heard Costco has them, so I already have them because I eat a lot of eggs. So my log is getting eggs. So without further ado, let's get this recipe started. Preheat your oven to 325. You can use any blender you have, food processor I have, this lovely little ninja, and depending on size, you might need more than one of these, so choose wisely. In here, there are three eggs, and then we're gonna be doing chicken livers today. These were bought a while ago and I froze them, but look at that great price, $1.79 total price, and let's be real, not many people like chicken livers or beef livers, so you can find these right now. And you're just gonna dump the whole thing right in. Now, the next ingredient, the final ingredient, are old-fashioned oats. You can make, um, or you can use, I should say, anywhere from two to three cups. It kind of depends on your liquids. Um, these livers are pretty bloody, sorry. Um, so I'm gonna start out with two cups because that generally is about right. So, I'm gonna pop the top on. Pop this on and You may also have to um, brush the sides down, depending on the size of your blender. This is looking a little watery, as you can see, so I'm gonna add another cup of oats. And that's pretty much how I figured out. It smells horrible. Just put a tiny bit more. This thing doesn't want to snap on. There we go. Starting to feel it. grind up the oats first to create an oat flour. I'm just lazy. So next, got your dish, don't mind, I just splubged there. And you're gonna go ahead, butter it, oil it, whatever you need to do. You have on hand, I just bought some fresh olive oil because I was out, so I'm just gonna do that. And then, Pour in. Now obviously, if you grind the oats into a flour, yours will not look like this. So if you do the, the oats first, or regular flour, you can even use regular flour for these, it will not quite look like this. Scrape the sides down. Thank you. 
Shake it a little bit. It's ready for the oven. Then go ahead and place into your preheated oven. And depending on your pan size, this one's kind of small, um, anywhere from 25 to 35 minutes. So just check on it. And once it starts to pull away from the sides, just like a regular brownie, go ahead and pull that out. So it's fresh out of the oven. Took about 20 minutes. There's all the goodness. I'm gonna let it cool down and then we will slice it up and serve some to the pup. It's just that easy.